Okay, so um, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a free SSL certificate on one of your Centora control panel domains. Again, using the free open source Centora control panel instead of cPanel. Um, you also, we also want to install uh, an SSL certificate on our domain, right? For SEO purposes, search engine optimization, and just general security. Okay, now in this video, you need to have looked at my video and and gone through first the video on installing an SSL certificate on the control panel itself. Um, so uh, that there are. Um, some prerequisites uh, for example let's encrypt okay all right so I'm here in the let's encrypt directory and I'm also assuming that you have uh, that you've got your um, you've got your domain set up uh, you've got your name servers set and you have also added a domain in the Centora control panel. Uh, okay. And so the first thing we want to do, we're going to stop Apache. Okay. And then the next thing we want to use the Let's Encrypt uh, program. Um, and what we do here, you can see, okay, there's the option D and then universityofjavascript.com and then another D uh, for the uh, www.yourdomainname uh, permutation, right? Um, so you, you, wanna, you want to have encryption for both of those. Um, okay, might take just a second here. Uh, okay, next we want to um, we want to restart. Apache or start Apache excuse me um, now the next next thing we want to do is um, we need to go into our control panel um, and we need to do a few things there um, we need to do a few things in our control panel. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry guys if it's taken a little bit here. Um, the first thing we want to do, we go want to go into admin. Okay, then we're going to go into, then we're going to hit module admin. And then we want to go to Apache config. Okay. Now we want to go way, way, way down here. We want to go way to the bottom. All right. We want to go way, way down here. And we want to um, select a vir virtual host. Uh, we want to override a virtual host setting, and we're going to we're doing it for University of JavaScript. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing we want to do, we want to come down here, and we're going to do four four. We're going to put in four four three right there, and we need to check this box, forward port eighty. Now the custom entry, okay. This is and this is the part that gets just a little bit tricky and tedious. And I'm going to put a link d 
down in the description below this video to a very simple text file, a very simple text file that you can copy and paste just in one fell swoop. And the only thing you have to change, this file that the link is going to direct you to, it's going to be just the way you want it, except you're going to have to put in your domain. Okay, not University of JavaScript. You're going to have your domain in there. Uh, but first, I'm going to quickly show you that stuff. I'm going to show you that stuff. It's over here. Um, and you can see right here, there's my University of JavaScript. You need to change it here on this line, here on this line. And again, you're going to be able to get this in a text file and just copy paste it, right? Okay, after you put in your domain here, right? Okay, so you copy from this point all the way up here. Um, and we go over. We paste that in, and then we save our vhost. Okay, saving away there, saving away. Um, we want to come back to our command line, hit that command. If you need to, if you missed that command, you can just look at it there. All right. Um, now the next thing we want to do is restart Apache. Okay. Uh, okay, and bam, there we are. And as well, our w, our www permutation also is encrypted um, and hey you guys if for whatever reason your server is not configure it has a configuration problem I would recommend going all the way back to uh, my first video on installing the Centaur control panel because there are some settings there are some configurations that could be on your server that are incorrect. For example, you might have already installed MySQL, and, or I'm assuming you've gotten this far, okay? But you also need to go back to my video on uh, installing an SSL certificate for, uh, um, for your control panel. You have to do that part first, okay? Um, okay.